Okay, so first things first, we wanna get our tofu cooking. I've got my large skillet with about two ounces of olive oil and I just turned my heat on to medium high. And while that's cooking, I wanna share a little tip on what I like to do with tofu. I purchased one 14 ounce package of extra firm tofu. I drained it, pressed it to remove as much moisture as I can and cut it into small cubes. Now I'm gonna add this to a bowl Season it with a little salt and pepper, and then add about a tablespoon of cornstarch to the tofu. Stir it to combine so that all of the cubed tofu has a lightly coat of cornstarch on it. This is gonna help the tofu get a little bit of extra crispiness onto it while it's cooking. Then we're just gonna add it to our pan and cook for about three minutes or until it starts to get golden in color and slightly crispy. Okay, so my tofu is cooked, so I'm just going to use a slotted spoon and remove the tofu from my pan. There were a couple pieces that crumbled, and that's fine. I'm using a paper towel lined plate just to kind of absorb some of the excess oil, and then we're just gonna set this aside for later. I'm going to start adding my veggies and my flavor. First is one green bell pepper. I'm using two cloves of garlic and about two ounces of ginger. So I've minced them together. And next I'm going to add a jalapeno. I've used one jalapeno, which is about two ounces, small dice. Really, this is where the heat for this recipe is coming from. It all is coming from the ginger and the jalapeno. I've removed the seeds and most of the inside membrane of the jalapeno, just so it's not too hot. And then we're just gonna start to cook this for about two minutes. Keep stirring this until the bell pepper starts to soften. And this is really the base flavor for your curry dish. Next, we're gonna add two cups of broccoli. Continuing with our green veggies. Next up is bok choy. If you're not familiar with bok choy, this is what baby bok choy looks like. If you've never prepped this before, you simply cut off the bottom and then chop it. Adding this to my pan. I'm gonna give it a stir. I'm gonna add another splash of olive oil and some more salt and pepper. It's really important when you're cooking that you're seasoning as you go. I'm using about a tablespoon of salt, two teaspoons of pepper. You're gonna cook this for a few minutes. And really it's up to you, but I like my veggies to still retain some of the crispness. So I'm probably only gonna go not more than two minutes on this. If you like your veggies cooked a little bit more, you can go take it a little bit further. It's looking beautiful. Everything's bright green. And next I'm gonna add my liquid. I'm using one can of coconut milk, a half a cup of veg stock. I'm leaving my heat at medium. And now I'm gonna add the curry paste, about three tablespoons. Stir to combine the coconut milk, the veg, the curry paste, and the veg stock. And then I'm just gonna let this go until it comes up to a boil. It should only take a minute or so. As you can see, it's starting to boil. It really only took a minute. Next, I'm gonna add my tofu back to the pan and one cup of frozen peas. Frozen peas are something that you always wanna add at the end so that they retain their color and their texture. I'm just gonna give this a stir. Once coconut milk comes up to a boil, it'll start to thicken as well, and the sauce will really take on a nice texture and consistency. I'm gonna, just gonna cook this for one more minute. Okay, my curry dish is pretty much ready. As you can see, the sauce is still bubbling, even though I've got it down the low. Just getting a little more thickness on it. And lastly, I'm going to add a quarter cup of chopped cilantro and three chopped green onions. Both just for a little more green color and a little more flavor. Give it a stir and you're all set. My favorite way to enjoy this is with some brown rice. Another great way would be over rice noodles. 
I think it's beautiful because it's packed full of green colors. I feel good about eating it because it's healthy and I think your whole family will love it. Thanks for joining me again today.